Hi there, welcome to my video on how to create your online course in Thinkific for free. If you are not ready to launch your online course, the free plan on Thinkific is great to get started. You can use your free uh, course as a opt-in to uh, build an audience, to warm up your audience, and to use it as a lead generation for more products and courses that you can sell on Thinkific later on. So this tutorial will walk you through step by step on how do you create your course. My approach is based on principles of instructional design. So it's really about how to teach effectively, but also using uh, engineering principles to help you get set up faster and to launch quicker. So let's get started. So uh, the first step I'm going to do is click on new course. And so uh, for the first mini course, uh, you can choose from a mini course, a flagship course, a pre-sale course, and or a blank course. Now, if you are looking to create a free course as an opt-in, I would just use the option of a mini course. Uh, I can uh, make another video later on the other options, but for the purposes of this video, I will choose to select the mini course options. So I will say, uh, launch your online course in four weeks. So I've created the course. And now just some uh, notes about how this is already set up. Thinkific has already included some draft uh, lessons uh, to sort of give you a template of how to build a mini course. I am going to use this uh, template and build upon it. Uh, for me, as an instruction designer, I believe that creating a great course on Thinkific um, and especially a free course on Thinkific really has to have value. As we all know, um, a course is more than a video. And in this uh, course, I want to talk about the importance of setting up clear course outcomes, clear module lesson or chapter outcomes, clear handouts and worksheets, also including quizzes, and also uh, leaving an option for students uh, to leave you a review so that you can use that as social proof to launch uh, other products and courses later on. So if uh, you are watching this video, uh, this uh, is a, I'm on the free plan in Thinkific. Um, it looks a little different uh, than most because I'm on a, a demo um, plan, but the same principles apply here. So as you see, um, there are instructions already on how to use the mini course template. If I were to change this and say, welcome to launch your online course. And so there's all these instructions about how to use this template. But for the sake of this video, I'm not going to really follow this too much because I wanna help you build a course quickly and um, effectively because I think all the templates are great, but sometimes it can be really overwhelming. So, Instead, I'll just make some notes here about welcome to uh, launch your online course. And so um, this is just a draft right now, but if I wanted to, I can make this a free lesson. And in this free lesson, I can insert a video. Um, so I have some sample videos um, and I can set it down to autoplay if I wanted to, but I'm not going to for this purpose because I just want to show you how you can include a video. So I'm just going to insert the video and then save it. And so uh, that's just my welcome video. Um, and then I want to just uh, change the title and say, um, I uh, launch your online course in four weeks because that's what I want to teach uh, in this course, about how you can build a course and launch it uh, for scratch, from scratch in four weeks. So let's continue. So um, here I want to then include, um, they suggested a message from your instructor. And I totally agree with this. I think this is a great way to um, be personalized and to get to know your uh, students, get to know your audience. And this is a great way for people to get to know you and to see uh, who you are and how you teach and so i don't have a lot of you know great videos but i'm just going to pick some as a sample uh, so that people can choose um, and watch a video and then i uh, think if it has this uh, great um, sample uh, of sort of the platform and this is a great video to include 
um, in your mini course because you want to help students who don't know how to use Thinkific and who may be new to technology uh, how to navigate this platform. And so I would sort of rename it because it's a little bit unclear about how to use this course. And maybe I would just say overview of the Thinkific platform. This is a little bit more specific and it helps my students see that this video is all about how to navigate all these different tabs and where to find components of the lessons. And so I'll continue on and where this, before we begin, and this is sort of like what they call a survey. And so I'll just change this title and say survey to get to know you. I think so. Okay. Okay, so I can save that here. And then uh, they say, let's get started. And I am going to just uh, make it a little bit different and say uh, week one so that people can see where we're going from week one to week four. I really kind of want to use this idea of being very clear and logical flow so that my students can see that this is where we're going to be in week one. And this is how we'll get to week four. Because if they're going to spend their time on a mini course, I really want to show them the value and solid content that I will be uh, providing in this lessons and in this course. So the idea behind week one is to say week one, we're just kind of getting started. And here, the what, the same idea, you can always change this and add a video. And then they added uh, how, the how. Let me just click save and show you the idea of, they added a how, so that the idea of you can show the what and the how, and then the test your learning is sort of the idea where we just do a quick check-in. Sometimes we call it a knowledge check, but I like to say quick check-in and sort of to say, okay, I've taught you a few lessons about how you can launch your course, and now I'm gonna add um, some quick quiz questions to see if it made sense so far and whether I've done a good job teaching it. So that's sort of how they structured it. I would add two other things um, to sort of make this even more effective and more valuable for your students. I would add a, um, I don't have a video, but I can add a text lesson and say uh, week one outcomes. So this is where um, I will be really specific about what my students will be able to accomplish out of the week one course. So they'll be able to develop you know, a clear goal uh, for their course. Two, I can say identify their target market. And three, develop a business plan for their course products. The idea is I want to show my students uh, as specific as possible um, what the outcomes and I want to put it at the top. Um, so this is going to this is just a tip. If you click here, you can always drag it uh, and move it around. And so I always like to start my course with week one outcomes, and then I'll click save. And some other. Uh, so then the idea is uh, keep building upon this lesson uh, if you feel like there's a little bit more. But week one, I usually try to keep it light. Um, and then. Um, Let's just say this is week four, just for the purposes of this video to keep it simple. For finale, and um, so now they've had this video that says, congrats, here's what's next. And so this is where you can insert a video to say, um, let me find a fun video, the demo, and to sort of add some text that says, um, Congratulations, you made it to the end of the challenge. And the idea is I want to show and add a video, but also enhance it by giving some context to say, well, you've made it, here's a video, and this video is going to tell you what you need to do next. And so um, the other option is with even um, every video, you can add text and then you can add downloads. Like you may want to add like a PDF uh, cheat sheet that summarizes all the steps from week one to week four. 
Um, you don't have to, but I highly recommend any additional content that you can offer and uh, add value is always preferable and um, will benefit your students uh, either way. They will love the fact that you want to give more instead of uh, just kind of leaving them sort of wondering. And the idea is that when you sort of give some additional context and downloads and files, they'll really be excited by all the different value that you're offering and they want to continue to learn from you. So, um, so once that's done, I'll click save. And remember, uh, everything in Thinkific will always be set to default, uh, set to draft mode. So uh, if you're ready to publish, then you can uncheck that. But everything right now is kind of in draft mode because I'm not ready to publish. And then like if I'm running this as a free course, I want to sort of leave resources. I can say, well, I can add a link in here. That's the goal of this template. And then to say, well, this is a link to my Facebook group. I can also add um, a link to my main website and um, link to social media channels. The idea is after a challenge and someone's participated in a free course, you can use this structure and template to uh, stay connected with your learners and stay connected with your audience. And then you can even make it more personalized and sort of uh, ask for feedback and say uh, final um, survey and just get a sense from your students and from your audience sort of what the challenge did they experience, what the course was like, uh, what did they like about the challenge and what they did they not like. And so uh, I love that this they have a few you know questions. Uh, to sort of get you started and you can, you know, make this optional. I would prefer to make it optional because not everyone likes uh, mandatory uh, quizzes. And so uh, one of the sample questions that they've included that includes, after taking this course, I will be able to X. So, and then you can um, ask, is the above statement still true that you, now that you've completed this course? And the answer can be, yes, I achieved my desired outcome or no. I'm, but I'm happy with my outcome in this course anyways. If you want some other suggestions, I would also, uh, if you don't like that, I would uh, insert another line. Uh, let me insert another, that's not a good way to insert. Let's see, oh, there, I can insert another line and say, uh, did the course help prepare you to launch an online course? And then uh, instead of that one, uh, we can do yes, I uh, felt more than prepared. I didn't spell it right, but I'll add it here. Or the option of no, I did feel prepared and not sure what my objective was. So oh, the idea is you can use these questions as guiding statements, but you can also take it a step further and modify them uh, to make it a little bit simpler. I always think the simpler that you can get for surveys, the better it is because people are busy and they don't want to spend a lot of time and they want to be able to read a survey question and be able to answer it without any too much uh, time uh, thinking about it. So that's uh, one way that you can uh, modify that quiz question. And then you can even think about, you know, adding more questions. So they've added four questions, but let's just say you want to add more questions. Oh, uh, uh, okay. So now this question here is question five. I would say generally like, you know, four to five questions is a great sort of final survey because, you know, just the idea of people can just sort of go through and pick their answers. So uh, I want to make these uh, simple multiple choice questions uh, earlier, but then in the end, leave room for sort of like more free flowing thoughts. So uh, I wouldn't, I would like to say, what is the biggest lesson you have learned about launching an online course in four weeks? I'll just add the A here for learn. And that uh, I can make this optional, but I uh, would like to uh, normally in this case make this 
um, not optional because I think this is the most valuable feedback that I can gain. And this is the most valuable feedback you can use in any online course uh, sales uh, funnel. And it's really the testimonials and um, the social proof that really makes a difference. So uh, this is just sort of a free text uh, question. And so I'm going to save it. And so now my survey is uh, saved and I can see what the other ones here. Question four, how likely are you, you know, so the idea is, you know, take a look at some of these questions. I think this one is a great one. Um, this is also more of like a free flowing, uh, this is more of a rating question. And so people can rate you from one to uh, five or actually one to six, one to 10, which is good because I think you want a combination of quantitative numbers and qualitative feedback as social proof in your course. So I hope this was a great uh, video to help you build uh, a free course, a uh, free online course in Thinkific. Um, I uh, wanted to leave you with, um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'll try to answer them uh, to the best of my ability. And then if you like this video, leave a like, uh, hit the like button. Um, and also please subscribe if you want to uh, learn more about how you can build your course and scale uh, digital products on Thinkific. Thanks again and have a great day.